Right, Taurus, welcome to your reading. This focus here is for 1 to 12 June, whenever you see it is the right time. With me, Adrian Nelson, welcome to my channel. Hi, everybody, beautiful. Thank you for your like, share, comments, and subscribe. Remember, this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. The focus for this reading is love, okay? Love, L-O-V-E, romantic love. And let's see what we have. We're going to start off with an oracle card. And then I'm going to draw you some tarot for your, you know, recent past, your current energy, and what brought you towards where you are. So you have two cards that came out for you, for your love reading. And it says... So the one at the bottom says, the power of purpose. Isn't that an amazing card? The power of purpose. And this always reminds me, like in the um, Hindu traditional right away tarot, with the wheel, the wheel of fortune, the things are turning. Um, the question is here, Taurus, what is your purpose? What do you want? What value do you put on this? What value do you put on love? What value do you put on togetherness? What value do you put on finding that significant other, being with that significant other, building with that significant other? Because it's about the power of purpose, the power of um, what is it that you're putting into the vortex in order to receive? Because what we put out is also what comes back to us. It's, it's very important to remember that. And look at the second card, it says bearing fruit. So this is basically what you're looking at. What is your purpose? What is your intention? Remember, action is really great because the universe um, looks at our action. But it, when it comes to bearing fruit and the experiences that we have in our life and love and money and, and health and all those things, it comes from not only the action, but what is the intention behind our action? Because that is really what the universe gets, the action plus the intention. Now, at the end of the reading, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three questions. It doesn't have to be um, necessarily, you know, pertaining to love. Any three questions that you might have at the moment. And we're going to draw you three cards for that. Okay. Let's see for you quickly. So we're just going to start with your tarot first. What do we have for Taurus, please? For love. You will need to know. For love. For Taurus. Okay. First three cards coming out there. You've got the Sun, you've got the Emperor, and you've got the Four of Swords. So this reading is really starting out quite powerful. And this is the recent past that we are looking at. So this is joy. This is happiness. This is fulfillment. Um... I feel that for many of you, you were in a connection that really was beautiful, that really defined you, that really felt your heart, that was absolutely amazing, where you felt this is it. This is what I want. This is what I want for the rest of your life. And you really grew from that connection. I'm not sure if you're still having the connection or not, but you most definitely grew from that connection, which is beautiful. It really helped you to grow into life and to get into a... Um, a stronger and more defined version of yourself, you know, a more sort of prosperous version of yourself. For your current energy, we've got the Five of Pentacles, we've got the Death God, and we've got the Hierophant. So the past was great, but it might be that what fulfilled you in the past is not fulfilling you so much anymore at the moment, and that can actually really happen. Sometimes every people are in our life just to um, to teach us a lesson, to help us to go to that next phase. Um, this could be physical death, this could be emotional death, because death is about transformation, you know, in tarot, in divinity actually. Death is about transformation. Um, so I feel for many of you, especially if you've been feeling, oh my goodness, where's life going? Where's love going? Is it ever going to happen for me? What's the point? I see you going from a space of lack to realizing what is holding you back, moving from the dark into the light and going to a step where you're actually ready for new love. This is sort of where you're at at the moment. And often, you know, especially when we've been alone for a while, when it comes to that, okay, you're ready for love, now you go like, I'm not sure if I am ready. I'm not sure if I actually want to do that, you know. What's coming towards you, we've got the, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Okay, so... This is a space of going, I feel going forward, this is a space of going for a connection that makes sense for you in your life, a connection that that sort of logically makes sense in your life, logically fits into your life, okay? 
Um, maybe you work, you know, I, I feel that you are connecting here with someone here with Ace of Pentacles. You're connecting with someone that's serious. You're connecting with someone that wants to build a life with you, that wants to have that connection with you, that wants to have that beautiful, um, you know, flow with you. You know, not just sort of blah, blah, and blah, blah, but really wants to have that connection with you and a high level of commitment. We're going to look at high priestess when you clarify that. Let's just put that over there and let's just put it over here. Space is a bit limited for us. Um, and then let's clarify. Let's clarify the recent past and let's see what we have there for you, Taurus, pertaining to love. What is it that you need to know? What is it that Taurus needs to know, please, for love? And obviously in this video this week, you're not seeing my face, but you know, of course, if you do a personal reading, you still get to see my face and <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see my face again in future. Remember, the reading is about you. It's not so much about me. All right. So in the recent past, we've got the sun there with the emperor card. Let me just see quickly. That is the second time the emperor made its appearance, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's the hero fan. Oh, okay. It's that four of swords energy. So where you are or what brought you towards where you are with the sun energy there um, with the emperor. So you you sort of actually found what it is that you're looking for. You found in love what it is you're looking for, who you're looking for, the kind of connection that it has, whether you had it with someone, whether you maybe had an example, say maybe from your parents or maybe some other people that you just saw how that couple basically embraced love. Ah, oh, there it is. I knew the emperor was here somewhere as well. So you've got a double emperor over here, and that emperor's here with the king of pentacles, this one is. This is a space of stability. So I feel for many of you, um, you actually come from a space where you already had everything that you wanted, or you got very a very clear idea of everything that you want in there with the four of swords and the wheel of fortune. Um, so things actually, it's like the universe hurt you and things started to turn into a direction for you to get what it is that you were looking for. I just want to draw an additional card for the double emperor here from the right away tarot because the double emperor really, really resonated with me very, very strongly. So I just want to see what that is about, please. King of Swords. King of Swords. It's about clarity. So you already saw, you already knew, you already came across who and what it is that you want, who and what it is that you want to live your life with. It's the other way around. So it was Five of Pentacles, the Death card. Why am I mixing this up? Why am I jiggly wibbly now? Um, and the Hierophant. Okay, and this is in your current space. This is in your current energy. What is the message here for Taurus, please, in their current space, in their current energy pertaining to love? So with the Five of Pentacles, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here, lots of abundance. With the Death card, you got the Ten of Pentacles. And with the Hierophant, you got the Fool, which is all about new beginnings. Okay? So, yeah, I, I feel where you currently are, there is that space of what it is that you really want to have, what it is that you want to experience in love. And feeling for many of you that where you are right now, you're not in a space where all of this could actually come to you, where your heart's desires could come to you. But with the death card here that is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, this is a space of, you know, just because you perceive that things are not moving in the positive direction for you doesn't really make it, you know, necessarily true. And I feel that there's a there's a letting go of that what doesn't work for you anymore and a realignment here with the Hierophant because the Hierophant is about taking that, that journey forward Forward, which often requires quite a lot of courage because in the Hierophant space we often feel like oh my goodness I don't know if I can do this you know it, it just feels so very very overwhelming for me at this particular point in time the Knight of Swords was first the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess this is quite a powerful one because this is going to determine where things are going for you and I for one Taurus is really really intrigued to see where this is going to go for you because I didn't really think that this is the direction this reading is going to take. Okay, let's see. All right. I'm going to take this one exactly where it lands. So maybe you're getting a, a solution from an avenue that you didn't expect. You maybe expect it to come from this side, but it actually comes from this side, you know. Remember, energy is energy. As humans, we like to have a certain sort of flow, but energy in effect is just energy. So this high priestess came out first, and it had the seven of wands. So I feel for many of you going forward, there is still some sort of conflict and conflict that you're working through. 
Ace of Pentacles, another seven there, giving you the seven of swords, and then the Knight of Swords giving you the six of pentacles. So I feel for some of you going forward, um, there's still some emotional um, sort of, you know, baggage that you're working through, which really puts you on a beautiful new path. There are some thoughts and beliefs pertaining to love that is not serving you well. As you let those go, some of you, I feel that there will be the temptation to take on beliefs that you already realized before aren't working well for you. When you say, okay, this is not really for me, or maybe, you know, this re you are maybe trying something again with the same person or a very similar situation, realizing that it's not for you opens the door for something beautiful and new. And then also here with the Knight of Swords, which is the energy of going forward, there is a cooperative space here. So I feel that um, for many of you, you're first sort of clearing out the emotional space and then you're sort of like clearing out the mind space and that is when you actually get to benefit from the you know from all the beauty that's actually available there for you all right um in love okay taurus this is a space that i mentioned in the beginning where you can ask three questions so you can more than welcome to ask your first question and we see what the universe answers here for you what angel answers so first answer please for taurus and it says a year from now okay so if you've been asking a question um, a year from now, if that suits you really, really well, that's fantastic. And maybe you felt you want it right now. And it says a year from now, and you're like, oh my goodness, that's so far away. Um, so this would be a good time to surrender to the universe, to the idea that the universe has maybe a better plan available for you that you might just not be aware of. Okay. And to surrender to that with trust, trust, faith, and belief. Second question, please. Second question for Taurus. Which, as I said, it doesn't have to pertain to love. It can pertain to anything that's really on your mind at the moment. So second question for Taurus, please. What do we have? Second question for Taurus. What do we have, please? Okay. Two cards. It says, look for a sign and success. Isn't that amazing? Look for a six, Look for a sign that leads to success. Isn't that incredible? Okay, so the universe is inviting you to open yourself to the signs around you. Sometimes we miss the signs because we're looking for something specific. It's when I teach my psychic classes, I say, even if you're very clairvoyant, don't look for your answer in a clairvoyant way because maybe it comes in a different way. All right, third question. Third question that we're getting an answer for, and that went flying. It says reconsider. So maybe the plan that you're making at the moment, Taurus, is not really a plan that will serve you in the best possible way. And maybe if it, it pertains to that, um, you know, a year from now that you had in the beginning with the reconsider, maybe you want to open yourself to the idea that there might be a better plan here available for you than what you might be consciously aware of at this particular point in time. Okay, I hope that helps. I'll see you next week. Bye.